Hi, Jessica Kitties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw a hummingbird. So let's get started. To draw a hummingbird, let's first start by drawing its head. So I'm going to come here and I'm just going to start to curve up for the top of the hummingbird's head. So we're going to start to round it off and curve down. This is the basic shape that you're trying to aim for, just a little curve that comes up. So when we started right here, let's come back right here. And very lightly, I'm just going to kind of draw an angle in. So this is kind of where the beak's going to be and another angle out. From there, let's bring a curve down. So right here, we're going to start to draw the neck area. So just bring this curve down and let's go back and forth as we build the head. Okay, so before we finish all that, let's come back right here and we draw the eye so you can kind of figure out what's going on. So right in this area, in the center, I'm going to draw a circle. And I'm going to come in here and just give it a little highlight and shade it in to simplify it. And then from there, let's draw the beak. So in this area that you've created, we're going to draw an angle. So I'm just going to give it a slight tilt for this beak. So it's not just straight across, there's a slight tilt to it. So say about that much. And I'm just going to bring it all the way back to here. There. And I'm just going to come in here very lightly and draw another line in the center. Okay, so we have that in now. Now we know what's going on, right? <laughs> okay, so then let's bring this head down a little bit more right here in the neck. And a little bit more. So now that it's pretty much in the same level, we're going to start to bring this down a little bit more. And then now let's start to draw the wing. So in this area, I'm going to create a curve that comes up. From there, let's bring this out now. So we're going to just kind of angle a little bit and we're going to angle it out. So nice long wings. So say about right there, I'm going to start to bring it in. And I'm going to use a bunch of curves to finish my wing. So I'm just going to slowly draw curves that come back in. So before I finish all that, so I kind of figure out where things are going, I'm going to come back to where we started. And about in this area, I'm just going to come about right here and I'm going to draw the bottom of the wing so I know where to go with this. So from there, now I can kind of figure out, I'm just going to continue my curves and they're going to start to angle in a little bit more as I come to the bottom. And finally, the last one. So something like that's what you're aiming to draw. And then let's, um, since we're here, let's come in for some details. I'm going to start about right here for the inner feathers. Just some curves to break up the wing. A little line right here. And in this area, we're going to just, um, you can do this when you're coloring. So it's not so harsh. I can just want to show you bring these lines in for the feathers. So I'm just kind of flickering it out so it's not so harsh. That's the thing about Sharpies, right? They're so dark. <laughs> okay, something like that. Now to draw the back wings. I'm going to come right here and kind of following my front wings. I'm just going to go up and now I'm going to start to curve. So about right there, I'll just bring it in. A curve just like the other side. Let's bring this curve down more and we're going to draw the belly area. So we're just going to curve it out and imagine this curve coming through. So it's going to come about right here. And back and forth, we're just going to build the body. So 
just step back, take a look. So let's bring this in. And bring it in. So because I'm using a Sharpie, I'm just going to go in here and draw the um, feet. But if you're using a pencil, just go ahead and finish the curve. I'm going to stop about right here and draw a little curve and another curve going the other way. And on the back right here, draw another one. So we got the little feet in, and then now let's continue this curve in. So we're just kind of tapering as we come here. Now we're going to start to draw the tail. And in the, this area, just going to bring a curve up to finish it up. And now we can go ahead and finish the tail. So we're just going to come about right here and create this flowing tail that comes sweeps this way. So about right here, I'm just going to go in and draw the feathers. So a bunch of um, V's and in. And then once again, you come in here and just flick out some curves or some details. There. Okay. So then now for some details on the um, just going to draw some lines there. And right here, I'm just going to very lightly just draw in a little curve to separate the head area. A little curve over the eye. And right here in the neck area, we're going to draw some more curves if you like. To give this hummingbird more details for the feathers. And then the bottom right here, we're going to draw curves to indicate feathers at the bottom here. So it's all up to you how much detail you want to put. Or you can do that when you're coloring. So there, that's pretty much it for our hummingbird drawing. Now if you want to add um, some flowers for the hummingbird, you can come in this area and wherever you've drawn this beak, let's come about right here and I'm just going to draw a curve around it. So I'm just going to draw a curve. So we're going to draw this flower, simplified flower, just so we can give our hummingbird here some scenery. So in this area, I'm going to come and wobble a curve around this. It's kind of like an ovalish shape. Okay, so then now we're, let's come up here. So it's kind of like a trumpet flower. So let's come up. This is just to inspire you, and I hope it does. Maybe you can draw whatever kind of flower you like. And then let's come right here and add some details. And maybe another one right next to it, just to make it more complete. So I'm just going to draw another one right here. This one's a little bit more closed. You don't want to go into too much detail because the hummingbird is still the star of this drawing. <laughs> and let's see here, I have a little stem that comes up. And let's finish it all with some leaves. So I'm going to come in this area and just Draw some leaves. Uh, maybe one more. There. So that's pretty much it. <laughs> I hope you love this hummingbird drawing and it inspires you to draw it too. Thanks so much for watching and if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.